Agrilist is a tool to help you manage your farm operation. We'll show you how to measure the things that matter most to your bottom line, track crops from seed to harvest, and increase profitability. We're going to start our demo in the dashboard, your go-to for a quick snapshot of what's happening on your farm in real time. First, you'll see a 30-day harvest forecast. This will pull up any crops scheduled for harvest and show us the expected yield. We can also toggle into harvest units or revenue. This will be your sales team's favorite tool. Our forecasts are 90% accurate, so your team will have complete confidence when working with your customers. The next thing we see is our progress tile. As we complete weekly tasks, these bars will show us how we're doing. Then we'll see our yield metrics. The graph on the left shows the daily average yield, or a quick look at cumulative yield rates. The graph on the right shows us how our crops are doing in comparison to the expected yield. If you have a climate control system, we can integrate our system with your hardware so data collection is automatic, and then you can display the data right here in your dashboard and use that data in reports. Now we'll head on over to our crops page. This is the place for day-to-day -day crop management, where you'll set up seeding plans and manage crop performance. There are three main areas of the crops page, batches, zones, and seeding plans. Batches are our live crops, crops that have been seeded and are currently growing. Zones are what we call different locations or areas on the farm, and seeding plans are templates where we set up and store crop info like growth cycle, locations, and schedules. Let's start in batches. This page shows you what's going on in your farm. You can see crop type and variety, a simple identifier, where the crop is located right now, the seeding timeline, as well as the quantity of units seeded. You'll also see a barcode icon in the right. We can assign barcodes to any batch. We can also assign barcodes to zones. This allows us to search for a crop or location details at any point from out in the field. When I click on a crop or use a barcode, I'll see its detailed profile page. Here we can add notes and photos. We can see all upcoming tasks associated with a crop. We can split a batch, so if a crop starts in one area and a portion moves into another, we can make sure all of the data is still tied to that new batch. We can add custom data fields to a batch profile page. When I click this Edit Info button, you'll see some examples of things our customers record. So even if there's some data we're not yet storing, this makes tracking that data incredibly simple. And we can enter our yield data. There are a few things to talk about here. First, you can customize the harvest unit dropdowns, so you can create units that make the most sense for your operation. You can also enter up to two different types of harvest unit. For example, if I'm growing head lettuce and want to track both head count as well as pounds, I can do that. I can also click this partial harvest button, which allows me to harvest again from the same batch. So if I'm growing cut and come again varieties, or if I only harvest a portion of a batch, this allows that batch to stay open for future harvests. Now we'll move over to zones. Zones are what we call locations on your farm. I like to break down my zones by function. So I have a germination room, a propagation room, as well as a production area. I can also click into a zone to see more details related to that zone specifically, similar to how we look at the profile page for crops. You can also visualize your zones. If I go over here and click on my production map, I'll see how full or empty my zones are and what's occupying that space. This helps me plan my operations and planting schedules better. Now we'll go over to our seeding plans. As I mentioned, these are templates for crop details. You'll want to have a seeding plan for each of the crops you grow. If I click into a template, you'll see there are certain data fields stored with each crop, crop type and variety, number of seeding units, and then you'll build your life cycle. You can also assign a schedule to a seeding plan, which will create tasks automatically for you on the given schedule so you never have to worry about planning. If you don't know when you'll plant ahead of time, don't worry. You can use the Seed Now button to plant crops whenever you're ready. Once you've set up your seeding plans and zones with corresponding tasks, you'll have an instant list of what needs to be accomplished that day. Here you'll find a queue of your tasks. All of the future actions tied to a crop are created as tasks, so you'll see some harvest tasks, here's a move task, and here's a seeding task. This makes it so easy to manage what you and your team have to do each day. You can also add all of your SOPs as repeating tasks, so no more checklists on paper. 
Simply create your own task categories and build your checklist right in AgriList. We can even assign tasks to your team members. It's now easier than ever to see what I might have to do in a given day. Your supervisor can also print off a list of tasks for the team or for specific functions for the day. In our Nutrients tab, you'll have the ability to monitor nutrients and easily understand how they change over time. Once we set up our tanks, we'll be able to add nutrient readings like pH, dissolved oxygen, conductivity, and more. That data is visualized right in this tab so you can watch for any inconsistencies. Do you record metrics on farm performance that are specific to your operation? Here's where you can record and track those metrics. We call farm performance metrics key performance indicators. Let's say you care about the time it takes to harvest all of your crops each day. We can simply create a new KPI for total harvest time and set that as a daily measurement. That KPI will now show up in my task list where I can check it off, save my data, and come back to check out how my KPIs perform over time. Now, let's show you how your data can get to work for you. We've set up our system, diligently completed tasks, and recorded our harvests and nutrient readings. Now here's where we study our business to be more efficient and learn what we can be doing to better increase profitability. We can now build custom reports with insights from your operation. Whether you want to look at specific varietal performance or how pH might be affecting your yield, you can do all of that and more with our new reports feature. platform. We invite you to see how your data can get to work for you by signing up right now on our website. Our team is here to help show you around. Agrilis is your digital agronomist. Let us show you how you can increase profitability today.